Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, Mark. Uh, let me begin just by saying that uh, to Prime Minister Ruta and uh, all the people here in the Netherlands who were involved in organizing the summit, uh, you did an extraordinary job. And I think we would all agree that uh, this was uh, as well designed and well executed as uh, any uh, international summit that we've attended. And so we we're, we're very grateful, and uh, you've set a high bar uh, for the work that needs to be done in Chicago. Uh, two things I want to do is, is, number one, just remind everybody what uh, has been accomplished. Um, you know, in previous summits, uh, as a consequence of the work that's been done collectively, 12 countries and two dozen nuclear facilities around the world uh, have rid themselves entirely of highly enriched uranium and plutonium. Dozens of nations have boosted security at their nuclear storage sites, uh, built their own counter-smuggling teams, or created new centers to improve nuclear security and training. Uh, the IAEA is stronger. More countries have ratified the treaties and international partnerships at the heart of our efforts. And at this uh, particular summit, we've seen such steps as uh, Belgium and Italy uh, completing the removal of their excess supplies of highly enriched uranium and pl uh, plutonium so that those supplies can be eliminated. Uh, in a major commitment, Japan announced that it will work with the United States to eliminate hundreds of kilograms of weapons usable nuclear material from one of their experimental reactors, which would be uh, enough for a dozen nuclear weapons. Uh, dozens of other nations have agreed to take specific steps uh, towards improving nuclear security in their own countries and to support uh, global efforts. So uh, you know, what's been valuable about this summit is, is that it has not just been talk, it has been action. And uh, that is because of the leadership that has been shown uh, by heads in state of government and, and heads of government that have participated in this effort, as well as the extraordinary work of foreign ministers and Sherpas and others uh, who've helped to move this process forward. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, hosting all of you uh, in uh, the United States in 2016. We had a good discussion this afternoon about how we should conceive of this summit two years from now. The consensus, based on what I heard, uh, was that we should recognize this next uh, summit will be a transition summit uh, in which uh, heads of state and government are still participating, but that we are shifting towards a more sustainable model uh, that uh, utilizes uh, our ministers, our technical people, and we are building some sort of architecture that uh, can effectively uh, focus and implement on these issues and supplement the good work that is being done by the IEA uh, and others. Uh, so uh, I see two tasks before us over the next two years. Uh, number one is we have to set very clearly uh, what are the actionable items that we've already identified that we know can get done if we have the political will to do them? And let's go ahead and get them done so that in 2016 we can report out that uh, we have made uh, extraordinary progress and achieved many of the benchmarks and targets that we had set uh, at the very first nuclear security summit. Uh, in other words, I think it is important for us not to uh, relax, but rather uh, accelerate our efforts over the next two years, sustain momentum so that we finish strong in 2016. Uh, and I, uh, my team will be contacting all of you to find, uh, find out specific ways in which you think we can uh, move the ball forward uh, over the next two years. The second thing we'll be doing is soliciting ideas from each of you about the ultimate architecture that should be constructed uh, to ensure that beyond 2016 uh, we are able to uh, keep this process alive and effective uh, and that we are able to sync up the efforts of the Nuclear Security Summit with uh, existing institutions like the IAEA, Interpol, the United Nations, uh, some of the, the uh, uh, treaties that are already in force. Uh, all of you have important views on that. Uh, and we're going to want to make sure that you provide them so that by the time uh, we get to 2016, 
Uh, we have a well thought out uh, process uh, that uh, can be ratified at that meeting. So uh, I cannot uh, thank you enough for the extraordinary efforts that all of you have already made. Uh, I cannot guarantee that uh, the videos will be as good at the Washington conference as they have been here. Uh, we may not be as creative and imaginative as Mark and his team uh, have been, uh, but I promise you that we will continue to stay focused on this very important issue, and we uh, look forward to your contributions uh, uh, in 2016 in the United States. Thank you very much, Mark. We have now officially hand over the chair of the NSS. Uh, here we go. <laughs> But this was, the, this was the missing part. Yeah, this, 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 okay. And now it's again missing. I just want to make sure this is not radioactive. No, 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 it is not. Okay. <laughs> Can we go? Good luck.